All right, should be recording. Can I just see the bot? I see the bot. All right, and continuing with this, uh, which is Ghost Recon Breakpoint, I'm finally going to be doing the Chapter 2 stuff, Episode 2, sorry, Episode 2 stuff, which that could take a while. Um, I already finished off the Resistance Live event, so I got all that stuff, including here, this thing that will let me summon in a uh, aerial missile strike that does nothing to behemoths, unfortunately. But hey, at least I also got this. Where is it? Uh, nope, that's not it. There it is. I also got this. Sounds good as what I currently have, I think, but... Well, that definitely not in range. I, I like having max range on that. Um, before going too far, though, um, the key was provided. Originally for the review I did months ago now. Um, by Edelman for AMD. So, even though this is... Th that is one thing I do kind of wonder about when I get a key for a game. So if I've used it as was intended, the review and the performance analysis, do I need to keep saying that the queue is provided for all subsequent things? I mean, it's going to be in the description. I'm never going to hide that information. It's just, is it necessary for me to always say it? I don't know. Anyway, I mean, th that's more a question of if I remember to say it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and do that so I can get the full ammo. Yeah, part of the reason I'm doing this now is not just because I've, I've been meaning to continue playing the game, because I only did episode one stuff for the review. It's also that now we got that Resistance Live event that I mentioned, but also AI teammates, so I'm, I'm using them. They are also pretty useless against a behemoth. They're helpful for clearing out a base, though, but they're also very awkward because... And this is like, th there's a bug. So it's currently using the gaze tracker to do this, and it shouldn't be. I have that disabled. But, uh, doing that... Cool. Alright. I think... Yeah, it's this way that I want to go. Um, but for, like, clearing out a base, they actually are pretty useful. You know, against human enemies. They're not bad. But it's also funny. I mean, <laughs> in in the last part, they were crouched. I had them ordered to sink shot on two enemies, and they were basically ten feet away from them. <laughs> it's like, why are they so close without the enemy seeing them? It was so ridiculous. It's also very annoying that they won't, when you engage in combat, won't just automatically start doing that as well. At least when it's stealth combat, they don't. Alright. I'll bet there's good intel here. Uh, what am I looking for here? Okay. Yeah, look at that. Okay, it's just... I need to go this way. There we go. Up in here? Yeah. Uh... Huh. It's a breach on its western wall. Isn't... yeah, th this side is west. The, I guess they mean like down there or something, but it's like that... It's kind of water. To the west. Alright, I am gonna take that car.
this is nothing that's actually kind of useful with the teammates. Because they will uh, attack enemies and also be in the turret, something I cannot do. And there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure why I do feel like the performance is, for whatever reason right now, worse than it was when I was reviewing it. And I, I do not know why. What? Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, no, this may not be so bad. That's the, uh, like, whisper drone things that I absolutely hate. Um, that's awkward. I really need to play some Splinter Cell games again. It, it, it's definitely been a while. Why are you not? Um, something's happening. This is a bad idea on my part. Okay. This is bad. There you are. He's down. So he, he got back up, he automatically healed because everyone, all the enemies were dead. Alright. We got civvies in the area. Like the toes, everyone. We got hostiles in the area. I don't remember this one currently. I know I cleared it. I've done. I've cleared everything. Okay, you know what? We're gonna head over here. Ah, that figures it. I don't want to deal with that, actually. That's a problem. I definitely don't want to deal with those drones. Hit. 
dead. I'm golden. Not good. Good. We're getting him up. I don't have to. That's where the mission is, but it's, I, if I cleared this stuff out, then I don't have to worry about them coming. Watch where you shoot, this civilian. That guy's danger close. There should be a generator. Where is it? They always suck. is still more.
helping to find syringes. Nope. Right then, I'm just gonna open those up. There we go. It seems like that may have been it. I just needed to pop that one light. Which, as I said, there should be a generator around. If I'd hit that, that would take them all out. I was thinking I didn't actually walk up and touch them. At least those two I didn't. Well, the one. Okay, so this one I do have the stuff. Good. Then let's actually get to the mission. I am surprised that there are not more people. Here. 
that explodes, they'll know. Okay, it did not explode. Which also could mean it would be weird if it did explode, because there's really not that much destructibility in this game. Still got your mojo. Glad you haven't gone soft since Bolivia. Yeah, you and me both. So what's the plan? Watch my back. I need to retrieve some data. So, what brings the mighty Sam Fisher to Aurora? I'm after someone called the Strategist. He's been linked to several kidnappings around the world. All military specialists. We don't know what he's up to, but we know he's here on this island. If I can get him in front of Congress, they should be able to authorize an invasion of Aurora. So they'll finally send in the cavalry. Right. For now, it's just us. Go take a look. <laughs> Midas. Tough son of a bitch. You really can't survive anything. But we won't if we don't get moving. Sentinel will know someone accessed this computer and they'll come looking. Get on that turret. I'll get us out here. <laughs> Yay. I get the big gun. Not you. Or you. Or you. With me. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do better. Strategist has him. He's using him for some special project. 
How is Midas involved in this project? It's not clear. All I know is the strategist is working on some kind of new drone swarm weapon. Look, the only thing I care about is getting Midas back. I'll help. But the strategist is not what I'm after. I understand. I'd be the same way if it was one of my guys. Oh, I just remembered something. Because, like, with Sam Fisher, it's like, oh, I should really play some Splinter Cell games again. Because I did play Blacklist, and I know I have more than that. And I enjoyed Blacklist. But I just remembered I can't play Blacklist, at least not on the desktop. It is one of the games, unless they've updated and I wouldn't think they have. Hello. Um... That, um... Sorry, if my brain partially turned off. It, you can't uh, have the 32 threads of the 1950X. It doesn't like that. It complains. All clear here. What do you think the strategist is up to? Why does he want Midas? I wish I knew, but you can bet your ass they're putting the screws to him. We need to make that son of a bitch pay. And pay hard. Don't worry. He'll pay. But first I need him alive and off this island so he can stand tall before the man. How do you plan to do that? My team tried to come in on choppers and they took us out with a drone swarm. Nothing gets in or out. I have an aircraft on standby ready to come in. I'll figure out how to get it past that drone swarm. Every lock can be picked. Now, the strategist has Midas, but I can't take him down alone. You help me catch him, and I promise, he'll lead us to your guy. Partner up, huh? And why not? It worked in Bolivia. Huh. I got a location on some new intel. Need to be sneaky on this one, which means you're going to have to master some new tricks. Echelon tricks. You're ready. Meet me at the rendezvous point. Nah, I'm, I'm happy with what I got. Wait, is that all I can do? I thought I could do more. I'm confused. Maybe that's all I can do and without purchasing? I, I don't I don't know. Oh, come on. There we go. Clear this stuff out. And then this. I wish I had paid better attention to what it was saying. Do I need to... It all seems weird, though, that I can't, like, see that from the thing. Alright. Oh, yeah, 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 it's... I have actually looked at that. Maybe it'll actually keep it clear this time.
Nope, it looks like I do need to, like, purchase something, and I wasn't paying perfect attention when the thing came up talking about that. Can... okay. Okay. First mission is free for all players. That I didn't realize. I thought that... Okay. Oh, that's fine. Hang on. How long has this recording been? Half an hour. Let's do some more. <laughs> Let's do some more silly stuff. Alright, um... the thing I've been meaning to do for a while, and I've talked about, just clearing as many of the smoke columns as I can. I don't see any from here though, so it looks like I'm good for this area. Um, see, I'm just going to warp around. It's going to be meaningless, but maybe I'll also try attacking some bases with the AI teammates, see how that goes. Yeah, I didn't realize it was only the first mission. Really didn't. I thought that it was, um, the whole second episode was part of a AI free update. Well, I guess it might technically be, but you, like, need to join somebody else. See? That's where I want to go. So that's... Oh. Um... Yeah, that's that. And I think I also need to change some of the settings concerning those icons. Because this is more enabled than I want there to be, than there should be, either. You know, in a way, this is fine, because that this one up being short. Because that way I can uninstall the game. Because, yeah, once I'm done with this, I'm probably not going to keep it installed for very long, because I don't have a need for it anymore. And then I can uh, move on to uh, recording Rise of the Tomb Raider. Looks like there's one over there. Alright, but first, settings. Yeah. Okay, no, I don't want to lose those. I do want to keep that. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. This has always been off. I haven't cared. I don't need it now either, so... want to change. Is it over here? It's probably not. Yeah. Some other stuff. Anyway. Alright, so...
Okay, now it's basically almost directly on the line. Try this one. I know it's boring, but... This is something I've been meaning to do. But if I ever do need to reinstall the game, I want it, I want it done. Because it also lets me know for sure that I've uh, got every bivouac. Oh, there's actually two smoke columns visible from there. Here. At that one. Okay, but I also have this one. Those things are called, but still, it's an oh no, because I don't like them. Murmurs. They are murmurs. I remember now. That's... Island before. Yeah. I'm working backwards, which is unfortunate. By the way, for anyone wondering, though I doubt anyone would be, um, I am using the Vulcan version because I found that to be, I think, almost across the board better. For the 580 and Vega 64 was definitely better. I think for both the RTX 2060 and 2080 it was better. The 1070 and 1080 were kind of up in the air. The 770 could not do it. Um, the GTX 770 that I have, it, no. I think the 980 was kind of the same. I, I don't quite remember. Hang on. Oh, I thought I saw that. smoke over there, I guess not. I have been here. That has been tamped down. Here we go. Here's one. It is weird. It keeps scanning things that I should already have marked. I'm not seeing any others, so let's just... 
go there to Small Lake Bivouac. So this is neat, so this is only three parts in that do with the first unfortunately having no audio. You know, I guess I do have those, like other, the blue missions. I think I have some blue missions I can do. That was weird. This one. Wait, okay, here it is. Must be this one. Yeah, I do have, but I do have some blue missions. Okay. Good. So blue missions will get me like it uh the message things the intel things to read, uh, blueprints, things like that, so it actually, that, that wouldn't be a bad way to fill out this, and to just have some more fun with the game. See one over there as well. Now it's past that, but it is along that line. I also need to do Misty Peak. All right. Should be Misty Peak, I think, in that shot. Yeah, I was here a little bit ago, wasn't I? So where's that smoke column coming from? No, it, I don't know. Let's do that, because it definitely looked like that one needed. And that's on that line, so... That could be what I was looking at. You know, I am very happy with my current computer, but I know what I would like to do for the next, like, total build kind of thing. I'll keep with Threadripper, because I want the PCIe lanes, and I want to be able to go to all M.2 drives. It'll be nice in part because with, you know, the PCIe connections, they will be faster loading, so loading times will disappear, in theory. Um, it will at least be reduced. Um... 
but it's also that way I just don't have to worry about SATA. Although I probably would still have at least one SATA drive for recording media too. Because that is one thing that is so weird to me when I see people talking about it that, um, it's like, oh, you gotta use an SSD to record to. It's like, no, you don't. I've not had any problem with using my old Western Digital Black 750 gig drive that's more than 10 years old. I'm now true, was a black, is a black, so that's was high speed, but it's still, it's a SATA, SATA drive, and yeah, I mean, it's 2048 by 1152 at a 60 frames per second, not a problem. And I will also record it like 50 megabit, which is plenty. This is only a 12 though, because I'm actually not not reprocessing the video. Where is it there? Yeah, I'm just uploading it straight. What I am reprocessing is the audio. Um, I was here. Oh man. I was here and just didn't realize I needed need to step on the fire there. Um, yeah, I do process the, the audio a bit. Just the auto-ducking and applying the some loudness normalization to the mic audio. Which, oh man, that is... That is really a useful filter in FFmpeg. So it doesn't just increase the amplitude of the audio, it uses a loudness metric, which is based on various things, including the frequency. Because you could have something being a much higher frequency be technically uh, lower amplitude. I, th I think I'm remembering how it works out correctly. Uh, but because of it being a high frequency, it sounds louder. Or I may have that flip though, where it's actually lower frequencies at low amplitudes will sound louder than high frequency at high amplitude, but it's still, it'll, it'll manage all that stuff. It's like that, it's such a useful filter. Only do it to the mic audio though, because it just, I know I vary the, how loud I'm talking, um, accidentally a lot of times, and also I might be, you know, near the mic, I might be further away from the mic, but in theory it will all sound similar. Hey, I see another one down there. Um. In theory, though, we, I was kind of hoping, based on what some people were speculating, that by now we'd have 4TB M.2 drives being reasonably accessible. Now I still see it most like 2TB. Yeah, I, I would love to go to like a new Threadripper build at some point, but this would be like Zen 3. I mean, not that the Zen 2, the current Threadrippers, are bad. No, 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 no. It's like this, my 1950X. I love it. <laughs> it is so, so nice, so powerful. I don't have any need to replace it. Not for a long time yet. Um, but, you know, so it's like, you know, whenever I would get around to doing, like, a new build, because especially since it would be in thousands of dollars, waiting on that, um... <laughs> Uh, I would also, um, you know, like, let it be DDR5, you know, like, you know, let it actually be, like, a whole new generation thing. But yeah, and just give me all the PCIe lanes. <laughs> and it's just so I can get away from having SATA cables. And th th that's really it. I've got, I, I have no issue with SATA. I do not understand the people that are like, ah, oh, SATA and hard drives, ah, they're so horrible. It's like, they, they do the job and they do it very nicely. Um, I mean, okay, maybe some things, maybe like this would be shorter if I were using the SSD, even a SATA SSD or a uh, NVMe drive. But it's like, this doesn't hurt me. It's not keeping me from being able to do things. I mean, it's... 
I, I just would want it for the convenience of no more SATA cables and also no more SATA power cables. It, it, to me, would be a cable management thing. But as I said, I'd probably still keep a, a high-capacity hard drive just for um, recording media, too. Because it is always annoying, what, to me at least, when I have to delete a video just because I need to be able to record new video. Because, like, what if I need that? Because, you know, what if I'm not finished with whatever that project is? Like, that actually happened with, uh, this. With the break breakpoint. Um, I was trying to say breakcon, combining recon and breakpoint. Um, I actually need to back it up a lot of the files. Because I, I just, at 39 parts, it was more than I could store on the desktop, so... I had to do that, and then I was all... I think I uploaded, like, the first 20 before I finished, just because that way I didn't need the, uh, the upload versions of the playthrough videos either. Yep, I see another one to my left. Probably that. Oh, it's over here? I thought I was looking more south. Well, actually south, not in the north half. Because <laughs> I was east by northeast. But anyway. That felt good. Just cracked my ankle. I don't know if that got picked up by the mic or not. But still, it felt good. <laughs> Once I finish doing this, I'll probably do 102 of the blue missions. And then I will stop. And probably uninstall the game. So I don't think it'll be too much longer before, um... Before getting back to action stuff. Because, you know, there is a draw distance limit, of course.
Okay, good. Didn't realize I hadn't clued that. There's one. You know some other games that at some point I do want to do Let's Play Pluses and other Assassin's Creed games, I'll probably not do Liberation. I just so thoroughly unenjoyed that game. I could probably push myself through 3 though. I'm, I'm just thinking about, you know, other Ubisoft games. I don't think I would put myself through trying to get all the flags in Assassin's Creed 1, though. Or the feathers in 2. I mean, it's like, I can understand, you know, taking time to get collectibles, but... Man, there were so many of those flags. Okay. There. Don't see another. Yeah, Ezreal drones, I hate them. They're so... Yeah, stay low to avoid being detected. No, 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 no. It's stay low and then cover yourself in mud, dirt, or snow. So if it would just stay low, I'd be fine with them. But no, it's a guy do prone camo, which you can't do in all locations. And that I, I consider such a problem of their design. So there's two or three, because it's definitely those two. That might there's what to the left it almost looks like, but that could just be the normal clouds. All right, I I think I actually want to do this one first because it being more to the side like that. Um, it being more to the side like that, I think it's less likely to spot more than that one. It's so, like I go here and then to the mangrove one, and the mangrove one, I'll be able to see where I need to go next if I do need to go anywhere else. Yeah, it so would be nice if the smoke didn't require... Game of the smoke didn't require you doing this each time. Oop, too early. There won't be any that I could see from the this the one I just left that I won't see from the one I'm arriving at, so. might pick that up, I just don't know if it'll survive into the audio, but my other ankle just cracked and ooh, that was good. I didn't even realize it needed to crack. Alright. Alright, so we got the one over there. Oh, there's also one over here. That's northeast. So one northwest. Might be that one. Yep. Okay. This one first.
Too bad I can't change what assault rifles they use. Getting a drink of water. Yeah, I know I don't need to say I'm getting a drink of water for these videos since it's like when I do the hot rate recording stuff, it actually can't throw that off. But I do it anyway just because it's a that's why I'm like you not using the mouse because my no my right hand for the mouse is currently holding the water bottle that I'm using to get, take a drink. this to make my life a little easier there. I'm gonna wait for day. There's one. Hopefully that's the last one. Probably isn't, but oh yeah, because there's probably some up there. Nothing here. Yep, there's one down there too. I just feel like looking before, before stomping out the fire, since that one was like right there in my face. Alright, don't see any others. I kind of wonder with the whole the friend pass is not available right now. Might that be because I, I don't even know if I have any friends on Uplay. It's very possible I don't. Like I got friends on Steam, I got friends on Epic, I've got friends on a friend on GOG. I think that's only because when he um like did the Galaxy 2.0 kind of thing, saw that oh. Jim's also here. Let, let's, you know, be actual friends on GOG. Um, but I don't know. Well, actually, no. Uplay might have some, because I think it is able to get some of the friends list stuff out of Steam. So I think I may have some that way. It could also just be it's just not available for purchase yet. It actually would make sense to not be right now, because this is doing a free weekend. It's like everybody has access anyway. Alright. Oh, there's one up here. Oh, and th there's one over here too. White Ridge. Oh, and one over there. Wow. Alright, um, yeah, that one first. I can see both from here. You know the one I can see. I should be able to see the other from it as well. Looked like they were near enough.
Oh, there's one up here. And there's one down there, of course. Oh, wait, no, 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 that, that's the one that I'm not, the white witch, the one I didn't go to, because, like, oh, there's one up here. You know, it is kind of nice that you don't seem to lose any time, well, at least not much time, with these fast travels. Because some games, it doesn't seem to be so much fast travel as it is just skip travel. Oh, wow. There's quite a few over here. Yeah, I think... I feel like Skyrim was one where... It does just, like, play the the normal amount of time passes, it's just you don't actually have to do the traveling yourself. Man, there was a lot that I missed, a lot more I'd missed than I thought. Yeah, Skyrim is one game I probably won't take the time to replay. It's not really my thing. Fortune stream. Salt AP. Okay. Oh, I kind of remember that building. I did not always like that building. I'm just trying to get good sniping positions and that's not the easiest, believe it or not. And in a way it would make sense that it would be nice because of the... Okay. Um, can I see? There it is. Yeah, fortune stream. There it is. Um, it, it's m more that it's just got such long sides to it that it's hard to like change your position, get a new vantage point on anyone. I guess there is more time passing than... than nothing for the fast travel. Where... Not seeing any others? There. It's a good thing I marked that one. <laughs> So I've gotten so far away from it. You know, that reminds me of something that I saw, I don't remember where exactly, but somebody making the point that with the push for consoles to try to get rid of the loading screen, that you couldn't lose those tips and such that you get at loading screens. I mean, in theory they would 
you just deliver them another way, but what, what way would be more convenient? Ha, there is one. Um, yeah, but it's also, it's a little funny to me, the whole, I mean, no, yeah, I guess it wouldn't, you didn't have loading screens when you stole the cartridges. So, you know, like the old, uh, NES, SNES, N64, and the Sega consoles. Except, the Sega Saturn had a CD, wasn't it? Except for those, because the cartridges, they... Now, true, the game's also s much smaller, so that may have helped, too. But, um... Yeah, just everything was right there. But the push to discs still proved a good thing, because... They're so much cheaper. Of course, now there is... Question of will we see um, video game prices go up again? Oh, we saw them with the last, well, the current generation. So a shift. Oh wait, no, I guess it was even before that though, from fifty to sixty. So I'm wondering if we're going to see it now go up to um seventy. All right. You have. All right, southern part of Seal Islands, south of Albatross, Albatross Peak. South of Albatross Peak, okay. On a cave site. That won't be it, but... I mean, it could be, but I strongly doubt it. Underground drone testing it. South of Albatross. What? Where'd I miss this? Underground dome drone testing lab. I missed that. It seems. Got him. Took a while, but I did get him. Seems that was all of them. I don't think that the place marked is where I need to go. I don't think that's what the actual solution to the puzzle is. I just think that that's a um, good place to aim to, to go there and then go north, basically. One shot, one kill. 
Sniper parts, please. Probably not, but nope. LMG. All right. Well, at least I got this. wonder about over there. At least for the drone testing area. Drone testing area. Well, cave site at least. Okay. Wow, there's a lot to collect there. Cool. Alright, let's actually take this. By the way, no. Th this drone would have lost connection a while ago. There's too much rock and such in the way. What is this? Oh, no, that, that... I was half expecting that to be something more interesting than it ended up being. All right, there.
How did... Stay behind me. I mean, no, it just spawned it in ahead of me, but it's still very weird. Oh, so there is something in there. And yeah, I can't get through there. Yeah, so I need to be able to get in here. There we go. left then. That's in a completely different location. Yeah, so all I can really do is hope that there's another way in. But it's looking like there isn't. Hmm. Well, not here, I mean. All right. So, I need to find a separate entrance there. Still there. Okay. Now it is also possible that that stuff, because at least one of those was referring to a uh, claw, that that might be a uh, episode two thing where it won't open up unless I'm doing episode two content. And because I don't have that, I can't access it. That could be possible. Well, no, it's completely possible that might be what is happening. And thinking about it would make sense because it's it was described as a underground drone testing base and that strategist guy is interested in drones. Ah I doubt I'm gonna actually get anything. Um, really? I didn't didn't get all that. Huh. Yeah, this stuff is supposed to be right underneath me.
Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to get to that stuff. I'm just gonna know it's there. Oh well, not a big deal. Attaching silencer. Good. Your silence are on if you don't want them to hear you. I love Let him have it. Watch, here it comes. Elegant ballet, sheer violence. Well, we're gonna be dealing with reinforcements. Just intentionally losing altitude. Not, I shot the pilot, and lose, it was losing altitude from that. There we go. Let one of them up. Target hit. Enemies hit. Dang. HVT's making a break for it.
Roger. Moving to target. I don't remember where the the generator is. to do that. Keep tight, check your positions. <gasps> There's still more here. Sniper parts, please. Yay! Right, deactivate that. I'll clear your hair. Okay, there, there is an inn right here. Oh, this is where both the things are. stuff but I have this to pick up yet. Oh no, a treasure map. I'm not doing these things. Oh, okay, no. That's what Ooh. I don't want to do the treasure maps though. going back to Airworm, and that's where I'm going to end this and uninstall the game. I've definitely enjoyed a, a lot of it, you know, so it's just the time has come that I don't need the game still installed anymore. It did, I, I really did think that the, that Deep Space, uh, sorry, Deep State Episode 2 stuff would be, um, would be accessible, but hey, at least that resistance, uh, thing was, and now I can call in a missile that doesn't do much of anything, it seems, but anyway. 
Mads will be damn pleased to know you're here. Make sure I'm full on ammo. Even though there's really no point to it since I'm gonna be quitting. So the next time I come in, I'm gonna be at the half ammo anyway, but yeah. Alright, well, that uh, finishes off this continuation of my uh, uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint playthrough. I've enjoyed the game. I hope uh, other people have enjoyed my trip through it, even though I doubt any of this is being watched, but you know, whatever. That's how it goes. I have fun, and that that's all I really need to do this stuff. Alright, see you next time.